What's good guys? It's Monday morning and I only have one catering order today. Consequently, that is how we're starting the day. I'm at Torchy's up in Round Rock. I keep seeming to uh, be in North Austin these days, huh? Um, so yeah, Torchy's at Round Rock with Zifty. It's only a $30 order. Um, Nothing to get too excited about, but hey, I'll start my Monday that way. Um, hopefully, I can do well on DoorDash and Uber Eats. So, Torchies actually gave me the food in their own catering bag, which I get to keep apparently. I've never seen that before. It's a small order. Um, but yeah, I've never... I've picked up catering orders from Torchies before, and I've never been handed the food in one of their own catering bags, so that's a first. Alright, let's go. I don't think this is too far. Let me see. Four and a half miles. Not bad. Check this out guys, here's the Torchies catering bag, isn't that pretty legit? So we're waiting by the hot spot here in Round Rock, which happens to be a Jersey Mike's. It's 10.56 and no orders have come through. I got one order on Uber Eats, it was from Randall's, but I'm not driving 10 miles for $10, plus having to shop for someone. Um, just not doing that. <sighs> so, yeah, the catering order went pretty well. It was super small, easy setup. Um, and no, this time I did not video the poor lady who followed me to the break room and you know didn't didn't get her on camera and make her all awkward and <laughs> like someone pointed out in one of my recent videos I get it like I get it you know you, you don't want to put people on the spot like that um, most people are very camera shy self-conscious of how they might look totally understandable so yeah you have to be self-aware of that and just just um, you can't be selfish you know Chipotle order and my stack they gave me like $11 for five miles they gave me an add-on from 7-eleven an extra three dollars for one miles like I'm just thrilled so yeah this is um it's 1122 right now I probably won't have these orders done until 11.40, so like 14 bucks my first hour. Yay, round rock!
our silence a very easy shopping order. It's just Starbucks, uh, iced coffee, and some Tide laundry detergent. Please wait. System processing. Please remember to take your receipt. Thank you. Welcome. Scan items one at a time. First hour on DoorDash, I did 3704, which is really good, but a lot of miles. Uh, sometimes you just have to do that. It's Monday, it's the slowest day of the week for me. So I'm at 6704, it's 1205. 67 bucks and four cents is 1205. 20 50, and my DoorDash orders I took. Um, but I'm in Pflugerville now, and Pflugerville is just usually not very good for me, so we'll see how this goes. I don't know if I'm just gonna end up deadheading. More than likely will, but we'll see. So it's almost 2 p.m. I decided to take a really long Uber Eats order. It's like 21 miles for 22 bucks. But it takes me like right back home where I live. Might as well do that real quick. You know, it'll take me like an hour almost. By the time I wrap up, I'll be real close to home. And I think on the day, I'll be at like 110. We could take a break during the slow time and then go out again in the evening and make like another 60 bucks. So we'll see if that plan works out for us, huh? This is the tattoo place, first drop off. How's it going, Sando? I saw one of those panhandlers earlier today. He was at the intersection of, oh, I think it was Breaker and Burnett. One of those intersections. And uh, he was trying to sell goldfish, like goldfish boxes. And he got so upset that I wasn't interested in his goldfish. Um, the dude was like, just swearing and cussing and saying a bunch of incoherent things. I'm like, I'm sorry. At least he didn't try to like squeegee my windshield. You know, there's a lot of people that do that. Uh, or they try to sell flowers, you know, or these raffle tickets. Like every intersection in Austin has a panhandler, I feel like. And the ones that don't surprise me. Um, so yeah, we got this Taco Bell order. It's almost $9 and they live like a mile and a half from Taco Bell. So this is a really good little delivery. This order has a lot of food, like cantina chicken quesadilla, cheesy bean and rice burrito, not your fries, not your fries, three cheese chicken flatbread melt. It's a lot.
So, as I was driving back towards like Sunset Valley, I was kind of muttering to myself because they kept sending me crappy Costco orders. You know how it is, like, in Austin, I, I rarely see a good Costco order on Uber Eats. It's just a unicorn. And lo and behold, they sent me a unicorn. A $30, I think it was four mile, 11 item, 11 unit, Costco order. I I am on the I'm of the opinion that this is tip bait, but um I'm gonna put full trust in the customer that they are actually tipping amazing. This never happens. And they gave me an add-on. A really bad add-on. Let's see. For an extra ten bucks. Nah, I'm not doing that. 11 miles, 10 bucks, no. Here we are. Not too bad for this run. We'll see what this turns out to be.